Okay, so let's get another color. Uh, well, let's go with green. Okay, fossil evidence in here. Oh, oh, here we go with fossils. Okay, so fossil evidence. Now remember, we've got different types of evidence. You've got cultural evidence. You've got genetic evidence. You've got uh, um, fossil evidence. They all different types of evidence that point to the theory that evolution occurred. Okay, um, and really. There is a lot that, that points towards evolution, whether you believe it or not, okay? Scientifically, changes occurred over a long period of time. So here we go. Fossil evidence for humans may be interpreted in different ways. One possible model of human evolution is shown below. All right, so Maya means millions of years, okay? So that's four million years ago, three million years ago, two million years ago, one million years ago, and now we have present time. So it always goes from way back when across to the present time. Okay, we start off with Australopithecus afarensis. And at about three Maya, which is three million years ago, there was a split. And that line split into Australopithecus africanus. And we have Homo habilis. Homo habilis is known as the tool man, by the way. Okay, they were the first to use their tools. So, um, you know, to make tools to survive, made needles, they made flints. So that's why Homo habilis, just think of um, a habitat is your home. So, and that's how I remember it. So Homo habilis, a uh, tool man, he made his tools. Tool man Tim. Okay, tool man habilis. habilis. Okay, so we've got Australopithecus, and he sort of went off, that break went off to the butt there, and they would have died off about here. Then we have Homo habilis that sort of was up to about two Maya here. And another split was Homo ergaster. And then a final split, Homo erectus, which means that Homo erectus, Homo agaster, Homo habilis, and Australopithecus africanus all come from Australopithecus afarensis. This was their common ancestor. All right, so this is their common ancestor. And so now, how do we go with this story? We say, uh, you've got Homo herbalis, and then Homo augusta now splits off here to Homo heidelbergensis. And from there, we end up with our Homo sapiens. So theoretically, Homo sapiens came from Australopithecus afarensis, and then Homo agaster, and then Heidelbergensis, and then Homo sapiens. And here, Homo Heidel Heidelbergensis split into Neanderthalus as well. So you've got all the, <laughs> all the funny names, but the, they don't expect you to know these off by heart, just to recognize them. And there's some that you must know, like Habilis. I mean, Habilis, they've only found Habilis, uh, Homo Habilis uh, um, fossils here, and, and the oldest ones. And, the, and, the, uh, uh, and here in Africa. Then you've got Agaster, they've also found here. You've got Heidelbergensis also here. We found erect, uh, um, Homo erectus also here. So it's sort of, they all, we all come from Africa. There you go. So name the family, the family to which all of the represented organisms belongs. And if we look at all of these organisms here, they belong to one family, and that family is hominidae. Uh, sorry, an A. Hominidae. You must know this. Okay, you've got to know it. We expect you to know it. Then, this is an easy one. Describe how cultural evidence is used to support the theory of human evolution. 
Okay, so you'll say cultural evidence includes um, tools, weapons, and those weapons are going to be, they found um, knives and blades, okay? They found all those things. So your weapons, um, what else? Um, and various artifacts. Oh, wow, you know what? Weapons, let me just put in here, because um, I've put that in brackets already, but weapons... Uh, flints, flints. So flints will tell you that they made fire, because that's how you make fire is with a flint. That, that you've got the weapons, so you've got definite knives where they've taken bits of rock and they've tied, sharpened them, and they've tied. There's a wrapping around it, and they dig all these things up. These are fossils. This is cultural evidence. So you and various artifacts. Okay, and what those various artifacts do, um, and uh, blah, 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 to show or to prove, to show uh, and support, so we just answer the question properly, to show and support advances in um, the development of humans. Okay. It's because of this cult, your tools, the weapons, the flints, the artifacts. Um, they even go to the fact that there's art. So you've got art and paintings on the walls. All right. All of it is your cultural evidence. And then you can even throw language into the mix because that's your cultural evidence as well. It also lends to cultural evidence. Okay, then how long ago did the most recent common ancestor of Homo erectus and Heidelbergensis exist on Earth? So it's the common for erectus and Heidelbergensis. So erectus and Heidelbergensis their common ancestor. They only have, so you just go, you go back along here. That was Homo erectus' uh, um, common ancestor, and Heidelbergensis goes Augusta, and you just go back here, this way. So their common ancestor here was Australopithecus, Afarensis, and when? Well, that split happened here in three Maya. So, how long ago? Three Maya. So, three million years ago. All right, then. Explain a possible reason why Homo um, ergaster was placed between Afarensis and Heidelbergensis. So, let's go back to our diagram. Okay, let's pick another color here. They want to know, okay, they want to know why Ergasta is placed between Afarensis, so Australopithecus Afarensis, and um, Heidelbergensis. And I'm telling you, that this is because Homo Ergasta is a transitional species. Okay, so the possible reason, okay, H, which is Homo, Ergaster, um, is a transgenal species because it carries common traits um, of both Australopithecus afarensis, which would be your ancestral group, okay, 
and homo, hi. And please don't spell these incorrectly because they're given to you here. Heidel, Bergensis, which would be um, your succession group. So it's the one that follows. Okay, it's a transitional species. And this was the most important. Why? Because it carries the common trait. So there was your mark and there was your mark. All right, let's see if we can get this one out of the way. Explain how fossil organism, fossils of organisms that existed 4 million years ago to present times are used to support out of Africa hypothesis. So all you do is you say the fossils of Australopithecus um, afarensis and Homo habilis were only found in Africa. Okay? Then the oldest fossils. of Homo habilis, um, Homo uh, erectus, and I mean, I know this, but uh, okay, well, Homo erectus and Homo sapiens found in, I mean, found in Africa. Okay, so what does that tell you? Okay, this suggests that Homo sapiens, uh, oh my word, that Homo sapiens originated in Africa. And then what happened? They moved outwards to Europe and Asia. <clears throat> and there you go. Full marks, full marks, full marks, full marks. Okay.